the giant European Volvo also have hybrid and electric cars. In this case, the air conditioning and compressor of a plug-in hybrid car simply failed. We have already studied in previous video how does the AC compressor works in hybrid electric cars. But I'm always being curious, what is the main problem of the European AC compressor? Now, in this opportunity, we have an AC compressor from a Volvo made by Saren. French is not my favorite brand, but yet still, I'm curious. I want to find out what's going on with this AC compressor. So welcome to this new episode and sit tight because we want to find out what happens to the AC compressor of the Volvo hybrid electric car. An AC compressor in a hybrid electric car is not driven by engine belt, but by a high voltage electric motor, which means that once we take out this compressor, most for sure we're gonna find a scroll type compressor, which is the most efficient. And I can already see right here in the suction line, the high voltage electric motor. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the cover and check the electrical board. Here we go. All right, 10 millimeters, let me take them out. All right, I don't see any, let me see if by chance I have a little oil kind of stuff over here. Mm -mm, absolutely not. Am I seeing any burning marks by chance? No, they all looking good. So far, so good. So we understand that a high voltage AC compressor receives positive and negative directly from the high voltage battery. And using this inverter, it turns into a three phase AC high voltage to run a variable speed electric motor by this three phase connector, right? So that's it. I'm not gonna take this out because I want to find out if by chance, most of the time, European vehicles are most related to mechanical failure. So let's open up the AC compressor and let's see if something is wrong with the electric motor. Here we go. I'm very, very curious to find out what's the problem with this one. <sighs> but just in case, of course, because these are a bunch of covers, I want to mark them in their right position. Just in case, I don't want to get lost. All right, so it took me a little time to take it off uh, because it has a big oil ring seal over here. It actually has two, so let me take it out. And, oh, yes, look, yeah. Why am I not surprised? We have, look a bunch of metal debris, mechanical failure by experience. This is like the daily stuff with Europeans. Somebody failed it very bad. Let me see. Oh, look, crap. Metal debris, very, very much. Let me take out the flapper. Remember that the compressor takes all the pressure in the center and we have the flapper over here, but the flapper since, let me see, I want to see the flapper. Yeah, well, the flapper is there. I want to take it out anyway. Here we go. All right. Oh, crap. All right, I'm going to put this here in the flapper as well. The flapper is still in good condition, apparently. Let me put it here. And, uh-oh, let's open up the scroll to see the main problem. Oh, <laughs> here it is. The scroll compressor is completely destroyed. Mechanical failure. I definitely have a lot to say related to the materials building this kind of stuff. And look, the scroll is completely destroyed indeed. So yes, of course, this immediately is going to damage all the scroll components. And look, this means that something is destroyed inside until probably this compressor was stuck. The electric motor spinning normally. Let me see if I can bring out the complete electric motor. It's giving me a hard time to go out because it's permanent. Man, the motor is actually very strong. Woo. Let me see. Oh, look, the bearing is also destroyed. Here it is. Central bearing problem, very similar to the Panasonic AC compressor as well. Why am I not surprised? By chance, the coil windings are destroyed. No, they seem to look in good condition, but while the condition of the internal, <sighs> this bearing is not so bad, but has a little noise as well. Unfortunately, mechanical failure in the AC compressor of the European Volvo is also a very common issue in their hybrid electric vehicle version. My strongest recommendation for air conditioning system in hybrid electric cars is do not use it in the lowest temperature, because remember, this is a variable speed electric motor. So if you want to cool down the maximum, you put it on low, you will have the compressor spinning and it's maximum RPM, which is really don't need. My recommendation, 23 to 24 degree, you will still be cooling pretty well at a low RPM. This experience has been working pretty well with my customers and absolutely no problem with the AC electric motors. So mechanical failure in AC compressor in Volvo. If you want to learn more, Stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.